Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I'm very excited to introduce the Chief Engineer of Crown Signia, Mr. Shimizu or Shimizu-san. And he's going to explain to me a little bit about the background of Crown, but also talk about some of the engineering side of things. Probably mix Japanese and English. He might speak in English, he might speak in Japanese. Uh, if he speaks in Japanese, I'll translate. Either way, I'm really hoping that we can get into some of the interesting discussion about what makes Crown special. So I'm going to introduce myself first and stay with me. Of course, we're going to share some really insightful things. Hi, uh, my name is Rotaro Shimizu. I'm the uh, chief engineer for the new Crown series. And how long have you been working at Toyota? Uh, almost 25 years. 25 years. Yes. And just to be clear, you are in charge of all the Crown models. That's the four models. Four models, yeah. Two of them not sold in North America, mm -hmm. but you're in charge of all four mm -hmm. models. Yes. Okay. Super. So again, he's got a very important role within Toyota to resurrect the nameplate Crown, which of course is one of the most significant name and branding for Toyota because it's the flagship of the Toyota brand. I remember growing up in Japan as a child and always admiring other neighbors whose parents might be driving or owning a Crown. It's not quite a century level, but within the kind of normal public uh, usage, the name Crown was very important. So I'm very inspired by the actual name coming back to North America. And we do have the Crown sedan, which is called the Crown Crossover in Japan. And then now we have the Crown Signia, which they're calling an SUV, but really for all intents and purposes, it's like, um, it's like a station wagon, which I love, because I love kind of low profile, wagon style, utility vehicle. I think they're the best of the best because it's not so awkward as in the case of a large SUV. But let's talk a little bit more about the development of Crown and what that also means. So you might be curious as to why did Toyota decide to bring the Crown nameplate back. It was 1955 when Crown was introduced as a very humble vehicle and it is a 16th generation now, so 70 years in making. But earlier in the day, Crown was such a humble vehicle that when it first came out, maybe it didn't quite uh, win the hearts of the consumers and so they had to retreat back and bring the uh, Crown back to Japan. But the idea was Crown being such an important brand, it needs to be resurrected, that the world needs to know how important Crown is. And with the help of Akio Toyota, who is, if I remember correctly, really loved the idea of having a Crown back in North America, they decided to resurrect the nameplate, bring it to North America in a different form, and to bring it as a new challenge for Toyota so that they can allow, globally, allow people to see how wonderful the nameplate and what the Crown stands for. So that's what his brief history is about. I'm going to jump into a little bit about um, the product development side in terms of if there was anything different about the way Crown was designed and engineered compared to other Toyota models. So the second question I asked is about the product development of the Crown because it's such an important nameplate. It stands for something, has a purpose. And I think um, Akio Toyota has a personal interest in resurrecting the Crown name, so that's very important. And according to uh, Mr. Shimizu or Shimizu, um, the, the whole product development cycle was designed around agility, which is a common term we use in business now to allow for quick decisions and allow the decision to turn over uh, faster as opposed to more of a bureaucratic situation where many decisions have been made by many different layers of management. That isn't the case here. There was a small skunk works of about 10 people or so that is, uh, was developing the idea around Crown and to come up with a basic philosophy and a direction to make sure vision is correct and they're moving in the right direction. And from there, then they move into more of a standard product development that may involve several thousand people. So the idea was to have a small group come up with the right vision, right direction, and then from there design the right model. So one of the things I was curious about is the four types of Crown we have what they call crossover uh, crown in Japan is what we call the sedan in here. Um, but also there is a real sedan, as in four-door sedan style in Japan, based on Mirai platform. And then there is a crown signia, which is called the crown estate in Japan. And then there's also the crown sport, which is like uh, almost like a Porsche Macan look is what I say, but it's not sold here. We don't know if that's gonna come to North America. So there's four different types. And I thought maybe four models were co-developed together in the beginning, but he said, no, actually they started off with uh, crossover first, which is our crown sedan. And then the idea was uh, discussed around different people that 
Crown is becoming too much like uh, SUV because the crossover has a bit of an SUV look to it. And so they decided that maybe there is a demand for a true sedan, like a normal traditional sedan. And hydrogen fuel cell cars are no problem in Japan because of the infrastructure. So they have decided to use the Mirai as a base and then create the Crown sedan, which is co Crown sedan in Japan. We don't have it here. And it's a beautiful sedan, to be honest. Uh, then they decided that why not create other variations of the Crown series since we have two models already. So these were developed a little bit later on, but because it's based on the same platform, it's not as difficult to develop the two additional iterations of the Crown, uh, which is now the Crown Estate, which is our Signia, kind of station wagon slash SUV, and yet to come or may never come, uh, Crown Sport, which is uh, a kind of sportier crossover model. That's the one I really fell in love with when I saw it in Japan. So all four models were created to expand the meaning of the crown, but not all four models were co-developed together in the beginning of the entire crown development. The final point he wanted to talk about is just the fact that crown, first of all, has two keywords, innovation and also uh, challenge. So they want to make sure that um, they challenge their team to create something innovative. And so I asked about the interior design, the exterior design, and he pointed out that interior design went to a different direction from a traditional crown from before, as opposed to having kind of lots of wood and chrome. They wanted to make a simple, business-like, and more European in flavor. But also they wanted to make sure the exterior was beautiful, that people would look at it and say, this is a great design, and they like it right away. So they were making sure that um, the rendering and the images created by the designers carried over to the production without losing the character. And that's always a very difficult thing to do in engineering but they worked really hard to maintain the basic look and feel of the original design from the designers and carry that into production. That's exactly what happened with all these models. So that's why they look so good. I think it's the best looking um, Toyota flagship models ever produced. And that is all to do with the fact that a smaller team of like-minded people were able to come up with innovative ideas and challenge themselves to create something uh, that is up to the rank of the name Crown. So that's the history and some background story of the Crown I think is interesting. I love the, the whole concept behind Crown and I really enjoy driving it and that's more to come later on. So thank you so much everyone for staying with us. We thank Mr. Shimizu and Shimizu-san for being with us all the way from Japan. We hope to stay in touch with them. Let's give them a big round of applause for being with us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Peace out. Thank you.